Morning world, Sippy Trevor here. Yep, it's been a while, but um, anyway, roll the intro. Hi, Sippy Trev here, and welcome to my channel. Um, hope you get something out of it. Morning world, Sippy Trev here. So um, anyway, I was on my bike yesterday. Um, haven't ridden it for a while on my way to Childers. Catch up with a group of people. And I started to stop off at um, the corner of North South and um, Isis Highway Road. Just uh, sort of stretched my legs because my back's been giving me grief for the last week, like, really. Um, yes, stood around for about five, ten minutes, went to jump on the bike, hit the starter, and all I got was click, 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 like, just loud as, and it's like, holy shit. And for the first time in God knows how long, I didn't pack any tools, did I? Not one. Um, never packed the spanner, I'm thinking I'm going to go on the children's and back, everything being bright. I did notice um, on start-up the bike was a tad groggy. Um, and then, yeah, when I got out there, so I was standing there, I managed to flag down this old bloke, he pulled up and he didn't have any jumper leads and then flagged another couple of people down and one guy had a uh, jumper pack and another guy had jumper leads, but I didn't have an Allen key to get the back seat off. So even though I had people stand there with jumper leads and stuff, I had no tools, I couldn't get the back seat off, I was buggered. Um, rang RACQ and they said, yep, um, 90 minutes plus could be up to four hours stuck on the side of the road. Oh, well, I can't be sitting out here in the bloody heat for four hours. So basically um, there was about five people pulled up by then, so they all just jumped behind the bike and pushed me on down the road and boom, 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 got us started, flew home. Um, so anyway, I checked out and I thought, mm, I better pull the battery out. So I pulled the battery out. Now, I bought this battery four years ago from Harley in... Bundaberg was a tad over the $200 mark, so that's the original Harley battery there. And um, she was coming on four years old. And um, the bike did sit for a quite long period of time in that four years where I didn't ride it and I didn't hardly ever put it on charge. So I sort of knew that was on the way out, but anyway, I took it down to our local um, mechanic and they tested it and only 80 cranking hours cranking amps out of about 300 so basically that dead battery so four years no worries so all right now thanks to a guy Viv um, who's done a bit of work on the bike he put me on to Childers uh, Auto Supplies at Childers up here in Queensland and they have a brilliant replacement battery for that for that battery and it's this one here so yeah uh, that's it there it's a uh, it's an SSB VT1 um, they're only $150 and they're rated at 480 cranking amps. So that's the replacement battery. So anyway, I wasn't always, I wasn't all completely dead sure it was just a dead battery. So what I decided to do was pull the cap off the starter. And uh, when I pulled that off, I found this. Now, this sits in not such starter and you have your plunger. So when you hit your starter, your plunger pushes forward and on those on that brass ring there, it connects with that brass thing there and on the battery side, connects with this brass thing here. Well, it's completely worn down. And I'm thinking, well, um, if I can get a replacement part from that, because that's a problem, gonna, the, the starter was always a little bit dicky, but you know, the, with plenty of cranking amps in the battery, it started. So, I found this could be a problem which is going to happen or it was also part of the problem and so I'm trying to find a replacement part for that now that's the starter in the bike there luckily if you pull your battery out and you pull your rubber mat out of the bottom you can actually access that part in through the bottom of the battery box so that means you don't have to pull your primary off you don't have to pull your exhaust pipes off you don't have to pull your oil tank out Basically, all you do is pull your battery out, um, lift out your rubber boot, and it's all accessible. So basically, I'm just hoping old mate Viv has got this part in his shed sitting out the back of Childers there. And for a small amount of money, I should be able to get that part, got the new battery, and hopefully I can get the bike back on the road. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm pretty much... Well, I wouldn't call myself stranded, but the bike certainly isn't going anywhere until I get that brass piece 
um, and get the new battery fitted into the bike. So anyway, stay safe everyone, keep your knees in the breeze, catch you later, cheers.